My name is Grady Proctor and I'm the Forest Watch Coordinator for BARC. BARC is an environmental group that monitors all the logging activities that happens up on Mount Hood. And today I want to talk to you about one particular sale. This sale is called the Jazz Timber Sale. It's right here in Mount Hood National Forest. If you can see on the map here, this is the town of Estacada. And if you went down past Ripplebrook Ranger Station, just above the Bull of the Woods uh, Wilderness Area, and here's Bagby Hot Springs. And the Jazz Timber Sale essentially wraps right around the Bull of the Woods uh, wilderness, area. wilderness Area. It's 40 square miles and it encompasses 2,000 acres of logging. Uh, we continuously see this on Mount Hood that the forest, that the timber sales are getting bigger and bigger and it's making it really impossible for bark and the public to monitor their own public lands. So I want to talk a little bit about the Jazz Timber Sale and some of the problems that we're seeing out there. One of the things we continuously hear up on Mount Hood is that they're doing restoration logging. Essentially what they mean is that these trees, these younger trees are coming in a little bit dense and we need to get in there and thin them out so that um, if you take out half of the trees, the other half of the trees will be released and they'll continue to grow bigger, stronger. It's essentially like when you're gardening and you grow carrots. You pluck out every other carrot, the remaining carrots will continue to grow stronger. That makes sense. But what I was always heard gardening is you don't walk on your vegetable beds. What the Forest Service does when they do these restoration projects is they go in there with giant machinery, like machinery that weighs 10, 20 tons, and they drive over the soils. This causes numerous problems. It causes immense amounts of erosion. All those soils that get churned up and loosened, all the trees that were removed that are holding the soil together, um, they release that and all that soil ends up washing down and washing away from, the, from the, uh, the area where they're logging. This takes away a lot of the nutrients that those trees need. Another thing that happens because of those heavy machinery is immense amounts of compaction. If air is not able to get into the roots of those trees, those trees essentially can't breathe. They can't do what they need to do healthily with compacted soil. Lastly, what happens with restoration projects is when you take out half of the trees, you take out the trees that would eventually die. A lot of those trees end up serving as what is called snags, standing dead trees. Other of them, they'll fall and hit the ground and decompose. And during that process, they provide an immense amount of habitat. It's something of the effect of about a third of all birds and mammal species need dead trees in order to survive. And most species are a trouble today because they don't have a home to live. The other thing that we keep hearing with these restoration projects is how great it is that they're going to be able to use the money to restore the forest. So for example, they're going to use the money from the jazz timber sale to close roads. But what Bark has found out continuously going out on the ground and visiting each of these timber sales, um, a lot of these roads that go into these units have already been decommissioned. For example, we went out to one unit, unit 70 in the jazz sale, and we found a nearly uh, a mile stretch, it was about three quarters of a mile road, was already decommissioned. So they had gone through and they had tilled up the whole surface of the road and you know it put hay down and basically uh, completely obliterated it. Um, but now what they're going to do with this proposal is they're going to go in and they're going to rebuild that road in order to get in there and log. This is just, this is just unacceptable. Basically what is happening here is Bark has been working with a uh, uh, with the Congress for a, pro for a project called Legacy Roads and what we've been doing is soliciting funds um, from Congress to get money to the Forest Service to close down a lot of these unnecessary roads. And we thought that the Forest Service was doing a good job taking these roads off of the, off of the mountain. But now what we're seeing is anytime they want to get back in there and go back in and log these areas, they immediately open these roads back up. These roads were taken off for ecological reasons, but we can see that the Forest Service's priority is still timber. They're going to reopen any of these roads whenever they need to get uh, wood out. Um, the other problem we have up there is in the Jazz area. Last season, there were seven landslides associated with roads in the Kalawash watershed. The Kalawash watershed is the, ge is the most geologically unstable area in all of Mount Hood. And it is unacceptable to be re uh, building more roads and doing more logging in an area that fragile. In the Kalawash River itself, we have stands of Chinook, or excuse me, we have stocks of Chinook, Coho, Steelhead, and Bull Trout, all resident um, species in the Kalawash River. 
Logging in that area could potentially cause more landslides in that area. It's going to release more sediment down into those streams. And all of this is going to be very bad for the fish habitat that depend on the Kalawash watershed for homes. I'm here today to let you know that this egregious sale needs to be stopped. We need the public to speak up for their own public lands. The Jazz Timber Sale would log 2,000 acres and 40 square miles, and this is unacceptable. If you want to learn more about this sale, you can visit the BARC website at bark-out.org. If you click on the current events there, you can find a direct link to commenting on this particular timber sale. Comments are due on the Jazz Timber Sale by December 19th. Please speak up for your own public forests.